Hey there, Aquarius. How are you? Uh, thank you so much to all my Aqu Aquariuses who have subscri subscribed to my channel. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, I so appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sean. Here, I typically only do the five signs. That's Sag, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, and Aquarius, okay? If I feel like it needs to change, then I'll add other signs or drop a sign. I don't know. But it's who I'm really in touch with at the moment. Okay? So, oh, I also want to say, everything I say is not going to resonate with everyone. So please take what does and what doesn't. Just throw it out. Oh, I'm already seeing images for you, Aquarius. Okay? There's someone, there's like a knight figure. And it's crazy because I, okay, let me explain this mess right here. Okay? So I was doing your reading and I had to stop the video and now I'm having to restart it. It's it's so annoying, okay? So that's why your cards are already laid out right now, all right? So, but I wanna say something. Um, there's like a knight type figure, a man approaching you. Um, there's a man that's approaching, I'm clairvoyant as well, okay? Um, I'm seeing a male. Um, approaching you this person might have like a beard or something that's really significant for someone um very interesting okay so we're going to go ahead and start your reading with psalms 32 8 it says the lord says i will guide you along the best pathway for your life i will advise you and watch over you amen all right so let me try this again and i hope this isn't too dark i'm trying to get the sunlight um work off the sunlight but I see in the next 72 hours, you guys are basically facing a fear here. We have the Fool and the Seven of Spears. Now, I don't read this deck um, like tr I would traditional tarot. I use a lot of the imagery. Imagery? Is that how you say it? Okay. Um, I see you're scared, but you're going for something in the next 72, okay? And that is excellent. You guys have made a decision. You guys were in this two of swords energy, but now you're getting up and you're like the hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I love this. I also see that you guys are also feeling very content with yourself in the seven, next 72 because we have the nine of cups. This, they always say, this is the wish card. This is not the wish card for me. Maybe it is for you. I mean, um, this is not the wish card. This just is. This just means that you're going to be satisfied with what you have um, and very proud of yourself and just satisfied. It's a card of satisfaction. Satisfaction. I just made a word up. <laughs> satisfaction is not a word, but you're feeling very satisfied, okay? And then we also have the uh, Six of Swords. So you're facing your fear in the next 72. You're feeling very satisfied, and you guys are moving to... Um, calmer waters you're moving away from the drama you've chose to move away from the drama into something else some of you are actually moving away from your social media you don't want to deal with your social media you're not on facebook or anything you're focused on your craft and for some of you it's something a statue is going to be very significant to you um in the next 72 okay something about um, a statue you looking at a statue it's something about a statue okay you're moving towards a statue. Okay. I also have, in the next 72 hours for you, we have the Four of Coins. And the Knight of Spirits. So you guys are really focused on your money in the next 72 here. And I also feel strongly that somebody is coming in. There's going to be some type of change, some change when it comes to your money and your security, but it's going to be a good change, okay? There is a, a fast change and something that's going to get you excited when it comes to your money because fours are about stability here. Um, something about your, um, your stability. And it's interesting, I'm sorry, I get messages on the side too. Something to do with someone's head, my head's hurting. You guys might have some, some, some pain in your head. Um, it's probably the the left side. That's where I'm feeling like something stabbed you in the head. I don't know. It sounds, hopefully nothing stabs you in the head in the next 72 hours. We, we don't want that happening. You're not going to get stabbed in the head, but something about pain on your left side in the next 72 hours, okay? But there is a change coming in. Someone's probably going to hit you up in your messenger or something like that. 
um, something happening with your finances that are, is very good. Now, all of these came out here. I feel like you're going to get some advice from someone from afar with the three of spears right here. And, and they really want to support you. They want to let you know that they support what you do. Whoever this person is, this hierophant, they're really trying to support you. Some of you are probably, I'm just getting advice vibes. Some of you get some type of advice with what you're trying to accomplish, um, how you can do things. It's going to be some really good advice that you're going to be taking in the next 72 Aquarius. I hope I ain't in there burning my pizza. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to burn my pizza. Okay, the alarm will go off. Okay. Then we have the hangman in the reverse and we have the knight. I said the knight. The eight of spears in reverse. So... I feel like spirit is telling you, make sure that you're not wasting your energy, okay? On like things that, like be careful of you not wasting your energy. Like don't overdo it on your housework. Don't overdo it on certain things, okay? And I really feel like you, you are doing that because we have the eight of swords right here. You moving away from drama. Um, but it's really important that you conserve your energy. You know, um... You're not arguing over silly stuff. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to have to stop for a minute and check to see what's going on over here with my pizza. Hold on. Sorry about that, Aquarius. I'm serious about my food, okay? You might be really serious in the next 72 hours about your food. Somebody went in there and opened up my oven and opened up the oven. And I'm thinking, are y'all about to take my pizza out? So that's that's the message as well. Make sure that you're patient um, and protect. This sounds very weird. You're like, what does that have to do with pizza? Make sure that you're protecting what's yours um, in the next 72 hours. Like, I feel like you guys are really going to be um, very protective over something or someone, okay? Like, you don't play. Like, the way I didn't play with that pizza, this is how my gift works, okay? You're not going to be playing around with something. And, like, with the wasted energy here, make sure you're not arguing with people over stupid stuff, okay? Um, conserve your energy because you have something really big that you're accomplishing and about to accomplish and you need your energy for that. Let me take a sip of my tea. <sighs> All right, Aquarius, let's see what else is going on for you. What else is going to be happening for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? Yeah. That's interesting because I talked about, did I, did I mention, I don't know if I said this about some, this person's probably, this person is probably overseas, someone far away. Okay. That will be giving you this advice for some of you. It says a distant friend is thinking of you. So in the next 72 hours, someone distant is going to be thinking of you. And I believe they're going to contact you. I'm hearing baby. I miss you for some of you. For some of you, it's um, love. Someone you know is undependable and insecure. So you're going to be dealing with someone who's kind of secure, insecure around you. Okay. And then we have opportunities are waiting for you, Aquarius. You have many opportunities that are opening up now because you've chose to overcome a fear. And right outside of the fear, what do they say? Right over the fear, outside the fear, is your blessing. And then we have cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you're highly protected in the next 72, which is awesome. Okay, let's see what you need to release in the next 72. What does Aquarius need to release in the next 72? Obsessive thinking. Ooh. I don't really want to take these. All of these flipped out, and I really don't want to take theirs. But some of you... It's saying that flipped over, surrender your fear, but you guys are already doing that and surrender your ego. Okay. Um, some of you do need to surrender your ego. Make sure that you're in a space of gratitude. Now surrender obsessive thinking. Okay. When I see this card right here, this basically tells me Aquarius, like stop thinking about the same BS basically. Like you might think of a situation that really peed you off and then 
you'll be like, okay, I'm not thinking about it anymore. Then you start thinking about it again. Or you're like watching a show and then you start thinking, like stop thinking about that. It's dead and it's done, okay? So that's basically what this is saying. Like stop letting those weird, um, those thoughts, those past thoughts, like replay. Like stop replaying thoughts in your head like an old record. If you see it, that same thought coming in, try to focus on something totally different, okay? Because your thoughts create your reality. It says you're obsessed. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Okay, turn it over to. I kind of need to do that because you know what? I found myself thinking of some BS, and I need to talk to spirit. I have not thought about doing that. Talk to spirit so that I can stop like thinking about the situation. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, but I keep <laughs> I keep doing that. Hey, stop that. Show us stop it. All right. They say practice what you preach. I okay. I am going to practice what I preach, spirit. I am going to do that. All right. I will not I will not keep thinking about how he left and cheated on me, okay? I'm going to stop thinking about that. It it happened and there's nothing that I can do about it. All right, I'm sorry. I'm in the background. Y'all can't see it, but I'm trying to pick up your love oracle deck. Okay. okay. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on for love for you. Deception. Ooh. Release the X, and this could be the one. Okay, so someone that you're dealing with romantically for some of you is not being honest about something. Now, it doesn't always have to be um, like gloom or doom. Like when you see this card, it looks like kind of scary and stuff. Um, just someone needs to express their feelings. If it's you, you know, make sure you're being honest with how you're really feeling and not say, oh, it's okay. And it's not really okay. Okay. We also have released the X and I was just talking about this. Um, release, stop thinking about them. Stop thinking about what they did, you know, um, stop occasionally looking at the page a little bit and then, um, Stop looking at it and be trying to be careful to make sure that you didn't hit the like button so they know that you're looking at your page, Sean. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to make y'all laugh. Don't be doing stuff like that, okay? I'm in a very happy um, marriage with my husband now. Okay. And this says this could be the one, okay? Some of you basically have met the romantic partner for you and you don't, and you probably don't realize it, but. And some of you do realize it. They're letting you know. They're reassuring you that, yes, this person is the one, okay? All right, let's pull some paper channel messages. And we will end your reading. And if this reading resonates with you, I do do personal readings. The information is in the description box. Let's see. And stop. All right. These are hanging over the edge, so we'll take those. All right, what's our little channeled messages here? Something about Christina Aguilera. I have no idea that resonates with someone. Christina Aguilera, I don't know. It says, you will be happiest with peace and quiet. So there's a need for you guys to be um, to meditate, to be surrounded with not so much noise. Ooh, that's a pretty feather thing flying in the air. I see. Sorry, I wish you guys could see that. Okay. It says, being true to a friend will injure you in the future. Be careful. Okay, make sure you're not sacrificing yourself. Um, we also, it's making me pay attention to this, like wasted energy with someone or something. Don't sacrifice your future for someone else, whoever this is. It says, they showed you who they are. Now believe them. I swear we get this all the time. Believe who they are. They're showing you who they are. There's only one in there. There's only one in there now after all of those channel messages. So it says, be careful. Be careful in what you tell others, okay? Watch your words. Be careful what you tell. If you come into this money or whatever, this situation, this business deal, don't tell anybody else. Keep it to yourself. A letter that, a letter that you will receive, act upon it at once. So yeah, there's a fast message. There's something coming in. 
that you're going to act on it like really fast. I see something fast moving and it has something to do with your finances. Don't delay it. Act. Don't believe what that person is telling you. Someone's telling you a big bag of lies. They're just sitting around lying. Someone's telling you something to make you scared or worried. Do not believe them. Keep doing you. Keep focusing you. Don't know if I got time for that. Stop giving up. Keep going, Aquarius. People, they want you to tell you stop giving up. Like, keep going. Stop stopping what you're doing and being like, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Keep going. Stop trying to be super money. Like, super money. <laughs> super money. I want to be super money. Stop trying to be super woman, okay? Um, like I said, conserve your energy. Don't try to do, like, all the housework, everything that you... Um, just trying to take care of everybody in the family, trying to do this and do whatever you're trying to work on the side. Save your energy. Prioritize. My pizza is ready. Okay. And it says, stop worrying about what they think. Okay? Stop worrying about what they think. Okay? Whoever it is that you're worried about, well, what if I do this? And what if they think? Of? Who cares? Who cares? Okay? Because you come in this world alone and you die alone. You got to do you. You only got, life's very short. Do you. Ignore them. All right? And some of the most successful people, they do the most outlandish stuff. Um, they're very, they're very, they're very different. That's what I want to say. They're very different, very creative, and they get talked about. They were talked about a lot, but they're successful. I mean, they have any people in their family tell them they can't do this, and they laugh. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Just don't listen to them. That's all I want to say. All right. If you like this reading, hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Um, if it resonated, go ahead and book a personal reading with me if you want to. All right. Love you all. Bye.